compression fractures are, are more likely uh, on elderly patients, um, people that have low density, low density in uh, their spine and their bones. Female more frequently than males. Sometimes it's so severe that a, not even a fall is necessary, but sneezing or being bumped or you know a small car accident and a compression fracture uh, for many years people had to suffer with pain until that fracture maybe will heal not always will heal today we have a technique and an operation done with a tiny needle that's inserted in the vertebrae and then through that needle we put either a curette or a small balloon that create a cavity within the bone and then cement is injected. The cement not only uh, will stop the pain, but also will give that vertebrae more density, make it more, more sturdy, and the pain immediately resolve. We today do this operation in, in the office. Patients come in, um, get prepared for surgery, and the operation is done in about 30 minutes. They'll be home the same day. Um, no bigger incisions, no bracing, and the resolution is fantastic. The Center for Neurosurgery Institute is our privilege to serve the community. Uh, we have a, a very successful group of neurosurgeons, physician assistants, and doctors, as well as the staff that's ready and happy to serve our community. We receive uh, patients from extended areas, including international patients. But in addition to that, we are very happy to have the best results in the community.